Hello and welcome to Master Psychor. My name is Martina and in this video I'm going to talk you through basic personalization with the Psychor experience platform. For the duration of this video I'm going to be using this dog charity site as an example. And on this site you can get information about the latest issues, you can donate or you can volunteer your time. Those are the two things that they really want to drive you to do. Now in Psychor, the idea of a page being a static thing no longer exists. You can use what you know about a visitor to personalize the experience for them. And what I mean there is you can literally change the way a page looks or the content that it's presenting depending on the type of visitor. So uh, you can do that based on what the visitor has already done on your site. Have they been browsing pages about volunteering, for instance? You can do that based on where they've come from. Have they been referred by Twitter or Facebook? Um, or actions that they perform on your site. Have they donated already? Have they filled in a form or downloaded some kind of brochure? So you can use everything that you know about the visitor to make the pages more relevant for them. So each user will see something slightly different. Let's look at that in practice. So this donate button here, if I come in and I donate five pounds to this charity, um, I might not want to see this donate block for the duration of my visit. I might want it to show me something that's a little bit more relevant to someone that's already donated. For instance, um, spread the word or tell a friend. So let's do that in practice. Let's log into Psychor. To do that, we type forward slash Psychor here, which takes us to the login screen. And I'm going to log in as Martina. And this is the launch pad where you can choose which interface you want to use and to personalize content or pages, we want to use the experience editor. Okay. In the experience editor, we see our site, but we also have this toolbar at the very top, which gives us a number of different options. Now, what we want to do is we want to design. So we want to change personalization. And you can see when I tick and untick this controls checkbox here, it highlights the areas that I can design. The one I want to select is donate. You can see I can select volunteer or donate. Once I've selected my component, I want to use this personalize button. And this brings up something called a rules editor. And it's a little bit similar to what you might see in Outlook. So when an email comes in, you use what you know about that email to send it to another folder or maybe even to delete it. It's the same kind of principle in Psychor. Depending on what you know about the visitor, you can set up a condition that will either hide content from them, change content, or change the entire design of a component. So I might hide the donate box that I've got here uh, and instead show the visitor a form that asks them to donate on a more regular basis. But I'm going to say that if somebody is donated, I want to set up a new condition. If donated, and that condition is going to be if they've already donated, I want to show them slightly different content. Uh, now, this particular personalization is being done on a goal. So business goals are decided on by the organization and then the developer configures that in Psychor. And then you are able to choose to personalize on that goal. So let's search for the word goal. Here it is. This is the rule we want. So where a specific goal was triggered during this visit and the specific goal we want is donate. Click OK and OK again. And now we can see if someone has donated, which is where the donate goal was triggered during this visit, uh, we want to show them slightly different content. So I can hide, like I said, I can change the design of that component or I can change the content and it's this one that I want. I do have the option to create brand new content, but I'm going to use one that already exists. I'm going to use this spread the word bit of content. It's just a chunk of content that already existed. And I'm going to click OK. And you can see it put that content in here now. And click OK again. And now you'll see rather than the personalization button, I now have this little drop down with the two variations that are available to me. So I've got if donated shows this bit of content. And the default is this call to donate. Now, for the purposes of this video, if somebody clicks 
this button here, we're saying that they have donated. So a goal is triggered in the background. That visitor, then their session is associated with that, with that trigger. Uh, and they become eligible for seeing the other content, which is the if donated content. But let's see that in practice. So because we've made a change to the page, we're going to have to publish those changes. So let's save and submit this through workflow. Got a little comment about what we did. Uh, and I'm going to prove this without test for now so as not to confuse the issue. Okay, that's now been published. So that will be live. We can confirm that by logging out. Uh, and I'm going to show you what happens when I, as a user, as a visitor, so not a logged in person, clicks donate and then goes back to the home page. So here I am on the site as a normal visitor. So I'm not logged into Sitecore here. Uh, and you can see because I haven't donated yet, I've still got this component here that tells me to donate and I decide to, to donate five pounds. I click that, I get to a thank you page. Thank you for donating. Now let's go back to the home page and see what's happening. And there you go. So because I've donated, Psycho instantly says this person has donated. I know that I have a rule set up for this component. I'm going to show this user a different piece of content. So now I, as a user, having already donated, might decide, okay, I'm going to tell my friends about this charity. There are countless ways that you might choose to personalize your pages, but the principle is always the same. You set up a rule, uh, which can be something custom built, or it can be one that Cycle provides out of the box. Uh, and you target a particular set of user or visitor properties, visitor behaviors, and you change the content to make it more relevant to them. And that's basic personalization. Thank you very much for watching. If you want some documentation about personalization, there are links available in the video description.